One quick announcement, then I want to recognize uh, Vice Chairman Cuppers. He has something he would like to share also. Uh, uh, Alan Bryson is currently serves as a Macon County representative on the Highlands ETJ board. He served there for several years and he contacted me recently and said he'd like to resign. And uh, John Crow, who also, you, have, you basically need to live in the ETJ area, that's what you're there representing. Uh, he said he would be willing to serve, <coughs> and uh, I spoke with him yesterday, and, and so I have a notice of recognition from Alan, not, not a letter of recognition, because he just notified me and he didn't want to rock, mess with writing a letter. He just notified me, that, and I told him I'm good with that if you guys are good with it. And, uh, and John Crow, I've spoken with him, and he said he lives in the ETJ area of, of Highlands, uh, toward the hospital from, from Highlands where he lives. And he said he'd be willing to serve uh, if we wanted to appoint him. And, and I, I, you know, if somebody wants to make a recommendation that we appoint him, and he said, I'll try for a few months, and if I don't like it, I'll let you know. <laughs> I told <laughs> him I would recommend him. I would recommend him, yes, I would. Well, in that case, Mr. Chairman, in recognition of, of Mr. Bryson's service, we thank him first of all. And uh, but we would rec we would take the recommendation and, uh, and appoint Mr. Crow to serve out Mr. Bryson's term. Right. Right. That's a motion. Do we have a motion and a second? All in favor, please sit down and say aye. 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 All opposed? Let the record show it's unanimous. I next <coughs> like to recognize a Vice Chairman, uh, Commissioner Cuffers. He has an announcement he would like to share with us. Gentlemen, per your request last week at the planning board meeting, I, I we they, they have started going down the uh, the path uh, on, on their steep slope recommendations. Uh, it's going to be a little slower process than I think we might have anticipated. And I think that it, it was basically the consensus as, as I left the meeting that perhaps our August meeting might might not be achievable. Uh, what I'd like your concurrence on is to go, but, but at the same time, we don't want this thing dragging on forever. So uh, it, with your concurrence, I'd like to give them till September, our September meeting to have their recommendations to us. That gives them two full months. They can start if they if they start start slowing down or it gets difficult. They can schedule the extra meetings they need to. It is the summer. It is a volunteer board, and sometimes on those volunteer boards you have a hard time getting everybody together. Uh, and so I'd like, with your concurrence, to go back to uh, Chairman Penland and, and say we'd like a report back from what you what you've decided by by our meeting in September. And right. you agree, Bobby, that they, they need the time? I, I think they do. I don't. I don't think there's any question. I mean, they got about Ron. They got about halfway through the technical aspects of it, and they hadn't. Mr. Haven knows he was there. They didn't get to the fun part yet. Uh, they didn't get to the hard part. So they 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 picked the low hanging fruit, and they only got halfway through. So I, I think they're going to need probably till September. Yeah. Uh, you, you've heard the request from the uh, vice chairman and liaison to the planning board. Uh, any comments uh, or questions of him regarding this? I mean, it's been a two-year process now, Mr. Chairman. It's probably ain't time to rush, but no. I do think we need the time limit on it. I, I don't think we need to leave it open-ended, and I, I would not recommend. It. I liked August when August was suggested to me. I thought it was achievable. Uh, I I thought we were further. I thought it was a little more polished than, than what I actually saw on 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 that night. There's there's some rough edges that need to be ground down, and I just don't think they'll get it done by August. I'm fine with that. I, I'm, yeah. I'm fine with it. How about you, Commissioner? Okay, so everybody's fine with it. So That's good. I'll deliver the message. Covers, you can send the uh, message. Thank you very much. Okay, do we have any other uh, business? Uh, uh, an open session. If not, I'll, I'll consider a motion to go into closed session for a, per, a potential property acquisition and attorney client approval. So moved, Mr. Chair. Second. We've got a motion and a second. All in favor, please signify by aye. saying aye. 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 We'll be going into closed session and we oh, do we think we're going to have something to announce coming out? Yeah. Yes. Okay. And so it won't be long. Bobby, you on biscuit? You on biscuit? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going to let you, I'm going to pour water Well, uh, reconvene in open session. Mr. Lou, if you come up. Commissioner Bill was telling us some, some great things about you. We just want to recognize you for just a minute, and I'm going to turn it over to Commissioner Bill. Gentlemen and ladies, this is uh, Judy Lau 
from the Macon County Sheriff's Department. She's also our juvenile officer, but more importantly, uh, the highest honor that you can achieve as any officer is recognition. And uh, Ms. Lau has been now been recognized as a juvenile officer of the year in the state of North Carolina. This accomplishment to let you know how what you know what she was up against to win this, you think the metropolitan counties and, and the juveniles they deal with, such as Orange County, Mecklenburg, Wake, and some of those numbers, but to have an officer as dedicated as Miss Lau and to receive this highest honor. I guess all we can say, uh, say, Judy, is thank you so much for what you do, for bringing recognition to our county through your efforts, and we appreciate you so much. And we'll make this, uh, uh, and you can come back at another time when we have more press here, and we, and because that certainly deserves more. I'm gonna say she ought to come back at a regular yeah, meeting. Yeah, yeah. we'll, 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 we'll do it. July the 12th, if you'll put that on your calendar, yeah. Mr. Chairman. Well, I'm well, gonna we'll be here, but we'll have a short meeting. We'll be the press here. Right. Maybe the August meeting. Yeah. The August meeting will we'll Saturday. But I'm sure they're going to be something coming out in the media. Surely they right. will give a press release. Right. But we appreciate you. We Thank want you to know much. that. Thank you. Thank you. I, just, I just want to let you all know it's an honor to stand before you and be recognized through, through your board. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. Thank, thank you, you for your and, and thank you for what you do for the youth of Macon County. That's, that's, that's what's overlooked here. Yes, it's nice to have honor. But what you do every day, dealing with uh, with youth in Macon County, a lot of folks don't understand, including myself. But I know a little bit about what you do, and it's appreciated so much. Thank you very thank much. You very thank, much. You. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, it's loaded. Don't know that's Jim Lau. Hello, Jim. Happy birthday, Jim. Jim. Had it not been for the support of Jim Lau, <laughs> is that all right, Jim? Yeah. Thank you, okay. Thank you, Jim. And there's Andy Shields. Good, Good morning, McShields. How are you? Uh, Good. Sir. Okay, well, well, we've got a few things, a few items we want to uh, do here in public session. The, the first is uh, I'd like for the board to consider a motion to approve an offer uh, to purchase some property as contained in the agreement uh, that we work with, with here that the uh, county attorney has. It's um, it's a, an agreement uh, uh, for purchase and sale of a property located at the corner of Patton and Palmer uh, Avenue. It's contiguous to property already owned by the county that uh, is at the corner of uh, Patton and Main. And and uh, I guess I can do this all in one motion of price and everything else, kind of not. Sure. Uh, also within this, uh, we'd like to authorize the county manager to sign a, an agreement. Uh, uh, on the county's behalf uh, as regards to this and we'd like to also appropriate $320,000 from the general fund fund balance uh, to cover the cost of this property acquisition. Gentlemen, do we have a, 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 a motion to accept that? It, just a clarification, yes, the purchase price is actually 300000 The appropriation is a larger to cover potential expense associated with the Purchase and it may not all be needed. The, sell, the seller's name, I don't know if you cover it. So, the, the, the seller will be making no, no, United, United Community, United excuse community. me, United Community. United community, community. community. And, and Mr. Commissioner, there is attached to that agreement for purchase and sale of real property a, a document entitled Property Acceptance and Indemnification Agreement that the uh, seller would like for the purchaser to sign. And uh, I, I would recommend that the bank, I, I'm sorry, the, uh, the county um, approve the execution of that, but withhold at this particular point in time the signature on that pending, making its ex inspections of the property, uh, and in fact, being ready to move forward with the agreement. As, uh, as written, the agreement <coughs> provides for the county to uh, do due diligence and inspect the property and if it finds something that it determines uh, is not acceptable to it during that inspection period of time, uh, it can end the agreement. And so I think it would be inappropriate to sign the uh, property acceptance and indemnification agreement at this time, but I think we can approve um, the execution of it at the appropriate time uh, by Mr. 
support from the county manager. Thank you, Mr. Attorney. Uh, so I, I will uh, ask you to reconsider the motion with the with the changes as noted by the county attorney. If we have a motion for that, motion that we move forward with the with the uh, with the purchase as agreed to, uh, Mr. Chairman. And we have to attach a copy of that to these minutes. Right. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. We have a motion and a second uh, for purposes of discussion. Any other discussion, gentlemen? Hearing none, I'll call the, uh, for the vote. So all in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Let the record show that it carried unanimously. Thank you for that, gentlemen. Uh, next word of business, uh, when we were uh, uh, considering the budget uh, uh, last time, uh, we thought we had three changes on our health fees. What we'd like to do is just go back and uh, approve page two uh, of, of, the, of, of the health fees uh, as presented. Correct. And, I'm, and I will uh, recognize Mr. Attorney for uh, any uh, further clarification. Gentlemen, I've, I've got to eat some crow on this. Uh, uh, the health director, director correctly pointed out to me that the policy as it was written uh, would indeed be appropriate under the general statute that applies to this. Uh, the area that we're talking about is on page two of the billing and collection policies and fee schedules for the Macon County uh, Public Health Center. Under that uh, first paragraph entitled rationale, um, we had made some changes to the language fees shall be based on plan recommended by the health director. Uh, I was concerned that that may not uh, be exactly the way it needed to, to be written, but the, uh, the bullet point immediately below that, uh, read in conjunction with that bullet point, and looking at the applicable general statute, uh, makes it clear to me that as originally written is satisfactory. And I would encourage that change to be made by your action today. Okay, you, you've heard that, gentlemen. Uh, would we entertain a motion to, to uh, accept that page two as presented? So moved. Second. Okay, we've got a motion and a second. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Okay, let the motion show the carry you Right, put your phone on the back, No, sir. Okay, I'm in business. I don't get a check whether, you know, I'm not a county employee. It's not landing up every two weeks. No, well, we got to. No, actually, you stayed in for All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right. The next one is uh, the next thing we want to do was also amend our current our, our budget ordinance before we put it into effect on July first. Uh, basically, we had the uh, three percent cost of living in a separate line item because we weren't sure where we were going to be with that. And what we want to do is just go ahead and spread that out across all the departments because otherwise, if we if we had decided not to, we would have had to affect every department budget. So. I'd like to uh, entertain a motion to amend the budget ordinance to spread those cost of living adjustments uh, throughout the budget process and take out that line item. So we have a motion second. and a second. As far as discussion, just point out that that, that doesn't change the bottom line. That's taking no, existing no, right. what's already in there and just sort of puts it into different line items. Right. Bottom line is still 42. Yeah, that's exactly right. Uh, we've got a motion and a second. Uh, any other comment or discussion? Hearing none, I'll call for a vote. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The motion should have carried you now. So. All right, gentlemen, if we don't have any other business. Oh, I do have one other thing. Uh, as far as the property acquisition, on the specifics or particulars, uh, we would uh, respectfully ask that the uh, press uh, and citizens, if they would, just contact the county manager. He can give you more details. We noted the uh, address and location of that property, but if there are uh, further details <coughs> needed, uh, I would uh, ask that you would direct your questions to the county manager. And while we are here, I would also just ask him if he'd like to speak briefly about why we feel the need to make an acquisition of this property. <coughs> Well, this property would be very beneficial to the county in the fact that it, uh, it it's adjoining currently owned county property at the corner of Main Street and uh, uh, oh, Pat 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 and uh, currently the county is uh, actually leasing and renting office space for several agencies, including the sheriff's office and 
uh, if the county were to acquire this property, then uh, it would eliminate the need to rent all the space that we're having to rent now. And uh, it's very convenient to uh, current county locations and also to the county courthouse. And so uh, I think it would be a wise investment instead of paying rent for us to be able to go ahead and purchase property that will be uh, used for county office spaces from now on. But uh, uh, we've got other details about the property. If, uh, if anybody would like to look into that and uh, see where we are in the process, the process now the county commissioners are just uh, passed a, an offer to purchase. The property won't close though until uh, July the 12th, pending review by the uh, by the county on all of the inspections and so forth. So basically, the county's just given us authorization, authorization to pursue this, uh, and if it meets the county's requirements, then the county can actually close on it July the 12th, and it will be. Uh, needed office space that uh, will prevent us from having to continue to rent office space now. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. <coughs> uh, if we have a release a statement to the rest of the press. I could, yeah, I will. But they'll, probably be, be, they'll probably get it from the source over there and be calling and everybody's going to be we'll probably call you and ask. Um, if, do we have any other further business, gentlemen? If not, uh, we will recess this meeting until July 5th at 1130 in the morning uh, at, uh, here in the boardroom in Franklin, North Carolina, 5 West Main Street. Uh, and if we don't have any other business, we'll recess till that time. July 5th, 1130. Yeah, a, a, a motion to that effect. A motion to that effect. Yeah, we need a motion to recess. All in favor of recessing? Please signify by saying aye. Ah, uh, all right. Everybody. Here we go. Microphone's off. Yeah, Andy, I need to see you for a minute before you leave.